Don't look so cold. Don't look so cold and very natural. And smile a little bit more. Yes, again, a little more of a smile. Very natural. That's it. It's twiggy, remember? You're making your own look. That's it. There. Fine. The sort of things I would look for in a model, apart from the certain physical requirements of face and figure, would first of all be an ability to project herself and the clothes she was in, and a pliability, or a relaxedness if you want to call it, to be directed towards this end by the photographer. In Twiggy's particular case, she's a very strong example of the current teenage trend. She believes in the clothes she wears, she likes the music that is the fashion at the moment, and these combined make her a successful face. Also, she, she doesn't try and resemble someone else, uh, which is the mistake a lot of current models make in trying to look like Jean Shrimpton, or as, as a lot of girls in France did when Bridget Bardot was successful. So I think this is her particular uh, success, that, that she will develop her own look. <laughs> Did you see Barbara Streisand on yeah, Saturday? Yes, I did. She's fantastic. She's really oh, she's, she's terrific. gorgeous. Yeah. I'm cutting your hair off. Okay. And I've got those some more of those plaits in. Oh, super. Too many teenagers now are inclined to backcomb their hair and make it look like beehives, and they forgot actually what it is. It's actually hair that should be looked after well and treated properly. Most of the young people that come to us will only come, say, once a month just for a haircut. In between times, they look after it themselves, and you'll find that um, they don't need a hairdresser. It just falls into shape. You know, you can do anything with it. I don't have to do anything. It just does. Triggy, let's try one of these flats on there. Great. Oh, no, that's how long does it stay on? Just one pin. I'll show you. One pin? Yeah. But they come out lovely in photographs, don't they? They're great, actually, in marvellous. That's all you do. Oh. Don't like My them? legs look too thin. I knew they were thin, but not that much. <laughs> but too much. But well, then, here, look, we've got lots of legs. At Vogue, when we're looking for a model, we're looking for something that's going to be just like another girl, but more beautiful, something that everyone else is going to want to, to be like. And um, when I look for a girl, I want her to look just as another girl, but with better proportions, something that's going to come across on the page a little stronger, with a little more positivity than just any girl that you might see walking down the street. And Twiggy's just that. She's um, just the girl that everybody would like to be, uh, but she's there all rolled in one. She has the right proportions and face and bones and uh, the right amount of leg. She's just right for this particular time, I think. The fashion world have been looking for a new face for about four years now. And Twiggy is that face. I mean, she's such a spectacular success. Um, whatever fashion editor I take her to, falls over backwards, you know, they're mad about her. Magazines like using her because the readers, the young readers, um, teenagers who buy the magazines, can associate themselves with Twiggy. She's got the right sort of background that the majority of people that buy the books can associate themselves with. But she's got that something extra that uh, the editresses like. I don't know why everybody likes me so much. I suppose it's because I'm so much like most girls of 16. Well, I'm not that big, really, am I? Hope I will be, but I'm not at the moment. <laughs>